All right. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I know you excited. Oh, I look like one of them patty pies all vibrant. <laughs> I look like a patty pie. A so patty, patty, patty pie. With the morsels. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. What up, guys? Welcome to Jupiter's Love. I am the lovely goddess. Talk about it, Takina. That is my lovely king over there. I finally got know which way to point now. Um, my lovely king, the emperor himself, life of iconic. And y'all, we had to jump on this because it, it's kind of right up our alley. So we're going to talk about it. Um, there's something that's trending right now. And I wish I could find the other one that I watched. And I'm going to try and. I might try and find it because there's when I said we should talk about it, uh, there's another lady that caught her husband cheating. It was a whole situation. You just let it out the bag. Today's I didn't. Episode I didn't. It's brought to you by. Hey, <laughs> baby, introduce yourself. It's the king. Iconic. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> anyway, but this video is brought to you by Side Chicks of America. May your side chick be busting it open every chance. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, snap. Can we... Look, I didn't realize my tongue was purple. Um. Anywho, so let's... We... Yeah, I'm gonna need you to behave yourself. I don't know what you ate. Oh, I finished off them uh watermelon um sour watermelon. Oh, tea. I gotta go get some this morning. So I'm probably just now getting the sugar rush a little bit or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. You are. That explains that. So we so as you can see, the title is Side Chick Uncensored. And for us, people, monogamous people, um, are always getting cheated on. They're in polygamous relationships and don't know it. Um, so there's a, uh, you said you think she's a stripper? I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe I can fly, but I believe she's a stripper. And this is why she knows so much about okay and also she's pro man she she's she's advocating for men black men white men she's advocating for men and she and it's it's a good possibility that's why i'm saying she's a stripper because most strippers hear the other side of a man's conversation to his monogamous woman. You see what I'm saying? Like they they probably more prone to talk about their feelings, just like how the bar is known to hear the drunk man's rant raves and oh, all kind of saying. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the barbershop. Three places that men find solitude damn near is at the barbershop um bar. And a strip club. Yeah. Um, so I have not eaten today. Uh, but that's a whole nother. We, we're talking about food. Um, so we are going to talk about what is trending right now. And before we even pull her in, before we pull her in to speak her, speak what she got to say. Okay. She proud. And, she, and I support her. I support it because it's happening. It's happening. Um, I, I I really should pull in the other one first, but we gonna we gonna let her well, say her. The, the one that you should have up is one that's going viral. The one is that's going making its rounds. Well, I should have sent that to you. No, 
She has a playlist. But anyway, let's let's keep uh keep it moving. Uh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just wanna I mean we're talking like 30 second videos or something. Like um you want but yeah, she's do... getting way, she's getting a lot of flack for trying to help out the fellow woman, trying to give insights. What's the one you had on your Facebook? Let me try and find that one. Yeah. So, you know, it's is is crazy. And a lot of people that is coming at her um, are the it's women. This one. Is it, and yep. it's like, why? why of, course women? of course I knew that man was married before I started dealing with him. Stop, 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 stop. I'm a side chick. Of course he gives me a weekly and monthly Dude. allowance. Yeah, man. There we go. Okay. Okay, is my lovely little hacker. The fuck. <laughs> But anyway, okay. like, I don't, I don't, I don't get the hate. I don't get. I really don't understand the hate. Me being a man. Baby, listen, it's gonna, it's gonna be hate. It's gonna be hate. It's gonna be hate. A monogamous woman that ain't understanding her man, ain't understanding his needs and his wants. She gonna hate on the next woman that then came in and is doing something better than she is. She giving that man peace, uh, cooking, cleaning, a clean home. Words of encouragement, motivation. Whatever. She there's gonna be hate because that side chick is doing something that she has not even offered to figure out what she. Isn't it's not even that she's doing something wrong. It it may not be that she's doing something wrong. It just may be a need that he may have spoke on or may not have spoken on. They're not having the conversations and the communication to understand why he is choosing to go and deal with someone else. But then again, y'all don't say y'all y'all refuse to acknowledge. The fact of human nature. Oh, it's not human nature. You're just greedy, this and that. I I, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I I can't I can't really explain it to, to people that don't understand. You are looking nature, good right or even, now. Or even nature in general. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. I, I try to I try to look good in my uniform colors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, stop it. Enough. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, in the end, they, they, women love to call men dogs. Dogs are in the animal kingdom. But yet, people discredit and disingenualize natural. Behavior, so to speak, um, in in the animal kingdom, like, even was that a purple deal though back there or something? No. All right. Some well, you jump around like somebody back there. I'm like, uh, but anyway, wow, not the purple deal though. Um, put me on blast. But anyway, like, how can y'all did? How can y'all not look at it? You know. They say, "Oh, we're 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 close to um, monkeys, primates, or animals of that nature." A mon- I don't do do monkeys keep the same female? No, because they run in a pack. Like a lion has multiple females. Like you know, that's that's crazy. But yet y'all want to call us dogs or whatever. But even a dog has multiple females. Okay, and that's why. But here's the thing. 
You making weird noises over there? No, because uh, family about to leave out. The garage door open and everything. Oh, so so. Nah, we good. Nah, you say that till they sneak up on me. Look. <laughs> yeah, disappear, baby. Go ahead. You I'm still here, me. though. Can yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Look here, if y'all don't understand the situation, then y'all really need to go back <laughs> and look at the videos and stuff like that. Yeah, I ain't explaining nothing at this point. Yeah, I got my key, though. Okay. You ain't... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Talking about we good. I told you they was gonna sneak up on the side of you. Yeah, uh I wonder who did that. Yeah, what? It's a it's a dent and a scratch on the side of the car and the front on the front fender. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Am I there before? Is my crunching too out? No, but you're crunching like a mug. <laughs> I don't know if you need to edit this part out or what, but... You know. No, I'm not. I ain't editing nothing. All right, it's so, raw. So back to, like... These are spicy as hell. Okay, so let me say this, and let's bring her in. Let's yeah. let her talk and say what she got to say, and then we're going to talk about it. I support right. what she's saying, and the reason being is closed minds, just like closed mouths, don't get fed. Mm -hmm. So, if your man has a side side chick, side piece, whatever, side hole, <laughs> it's because of communication. It's because of understanding. What's the love languages? What's the 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 sex language? What's the the uh? What's the other one we did? The um attachment style. Yeah. Do yeah. you know that about your man? Do you know any of that about your man? I don't even have to worry about it with mine because we is so close. It's so close. It's what it's it's me. I'm not even lying. Again, if you want to know what we're talking about, watch some other videos. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to this point. Y'all upset because she's speaking the truth. Because y'all ain't taking the time to to understand your man. So she benefiting from it, and y'all are mad. The and reason why that. understand yourself first, then understand your man, because understanding yourself will show your man how to love you, how to deal with you, do this, and also, you know, vice versa. Like everybody want, everybody want to say heal, but don't nobody want to go through the progress. No, or the process. So here's the thing: we're poly. I'm proud to support it. I'm proud to say it. Okay? And the reason being is this man is never... He this way. This man's never going to lie to me. I ain't got to worry about going through his phone. I ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I understand him. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold that thought. And for those of you all that probably... I, I felt y'all vibe. Those of you... That's saying that's bullshit. He lied. All men lie. All men lie. No, that's all the men you dealing with. Exactly. That's all the men you dealing with. What's the point? Why why should I lie? What what is it gonna do for me? What benefits does it get me? It's harder to lie than tell the truth. So he gonna tell the truth to move freely. And 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 anybody that and has. anybody that deals with zodiac signs know, hey, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm gonna tell you what it is, what it ain't, whether it hurts you, make you happy, all that. Like it's there's no benefits in me telling a lie, trying to live a lie because what's that 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 old sign, that old saying? If you tell one lie, you gotta tell twenty of them just to cover up that one. That is way, way, way too much energy to to put in to one sentence. 
I ain't finna lie for you, your mama, your grandma. Don't even call me for court because, hey, if you did wrong, that's on you. Like Bernie Mac said, I tried to call you, but your line was busy. And if y'all don't know what's, what's that from, then y'all need y'all y'all black car revoke something on it. Okay. So we're going to bring her in. We're going to play a couple videos. And we're going to talk about it. This video may be like an hour long, potentially. We're going to talk about this because I watched an, another TikTok on this subject. I'll talk about it after. We're going to bring her in, bring her to the stage. Got a flower do rag on like she 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 got it. <laughs> I'm um, my mom back Yeah, that's why I had to put my arm in the way. I look, I move I move the thing. <laughs> I'm you said something about mama, I said <laughs> <laughs> Again, if y'all don't know what's going on, <laughs> I think it's it's back. funny now. Y'all need to go back around to the to the first probably ten videos, ten videos, something. You know, y'all need to go catch up. We ain't finna stop for nobody. We ain't finna catch you up unless we want to. And right now, we don't want to because we want to get this out. So we gonna keep it moving. Take it away, baby. All right, let's bring her in. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right. No, we in the way, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Because it's the message. Now I got to figure out. Of course I knew that man was married before I started dealing with him. I'm a side chick. Of course he gives me a weekly and monthly allowance and pays all my bills. He does that for you, right? I'm a side chick. Of course I sent him back home to be unhappily happy so he could come back to me and be... Side chick. Of course he can't cheat on me because his commitment is with you. I'm a side chick. Of course I know that if he dies, you are gonna get his pension and all his money. That's why I had him sign off on the life insurance policy that he pays with my name on it. I'm a side chick. Of course I'm the authorized user on a credit card that you have no idea about. I'm a side chick. Of course I don't work because our husband pays all the bills. I'm a side chick. Of course we have lunch together about four times a week. <laughs> I'm a side chick. Of course I don't sleep with him for all of these things. You do. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm a side chick. Of course I knew that man was married. All right. That's just the first part. We finna go. We finna click on a couple other ones. Excuse the fact that I got these cheeses in my mouth. So we finna click on this one. I'm a side chick. Of course his wife knows about me, but tries to convince herself that he's no longer dealing with me so she can make herself feel better about being the first dumb bitch in line. I'm a side chick. Of course I can get him to go to work on his off days. I'm a side chick. Of course I'm classified as the delusional one or the hoe while the wife is in competition with me to get her lying cheater back to herself. I'm a side chick. Of course that man run red lights like you're trying to get pulled out there. I'm a side chick. Of course I get hush money, even when I ain't planning on saying shit. I'm a side chick. Of course I don't want your man to myself. I don't want to be the first dumb bitch in line. Mm -hmm. I'm a side chick. Of course you're gonna think I'm a hoe, but how am I a hoe when we fucking the same nigga? I'm a side chick. Of course that man is gonna fake a fallout so he can come be with me. I'm a side chick. Of course I'm proud, but don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I'm a side chick. Y'all can say what y'all want, but I'm much happier being a side chick. 
I ain't got to stress. I ain't got to worry about where the fuck this man is at, bitch. Because if he ain't with me, he with you. Especially if I'm doing my job right. How I know he with you? Bitch, because that's where I sent him back to. Bills stay paid. Ain't got to worry about no type of financial barriers. Ain't got to wake up to no stinking breath and him farting. and got to doodle stinking up the bathroom. None of that. He do that shit at your house. Then the females be trying to get mad because I'm dealing with that nigga. It's like, girl, I'm helping you. Your dude was a, he's a fucking sleazeball, baby. I don't want your fucking sleazeball to myself, bitch. Your motherfucking dog was on a promise. That dog was on a loose before he started dealing with me. Bitch, I'm the reason why he come back home and be a family man happily unhappily. But yeah, it just feel good to not have to worry about a nigga cheating on you. All the shit that I see, bitch, I wish the fuck I would. It ain't got thing, baby girl, you mad at me, but I got secrets that you don't even fucking know. I know the shit that you don't know. I'm around the friends that know you. That's sitting there playing in your face. But you mad at me. Like I'm the bitch that you married. I would rather be a side chick. It is what it is. And I like my position. And I get to dress corporate. Like my corporate nigga. I mean my corporate husband. Alright. Real quick baby. Um... Do you remember I posted that one older lady that talked about her uh, her man and she was a side chick, but he had passed away or whatever? I think they was in a relationship for like 25 years or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could yeah, you'd probably find that video. But also, there's a movie called Fences. That shows that shows the other side as well. Like, if anybody know that movie Fences with Denzel Washington, it was a play and they put it on the main main screen, which was the movie or whatever. Um, where he he had a baby outside his marriage and asked his wife to for them to raise the baby. Like, on baby, do you even remember that movie? It or sounds did I watch familiar. It? I might it have sounds watched. familiar. But yeah, like this stuff been going on for years and years and decades. Um. Uh. Well, ain't ain't no side chicks or nothing like that, but. Polygyny and polyandry been going on for years, and it's acceptable and normal from where a lot of the black, well, from where the human race came from, which is Africa. Like, no matter how you cut it, everyone got black in them, right? Came from Africa. They have to be. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and then y'all heard, y'all heard her say, I am officially, he, 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 he came out dogging, dogging again. Oh. All of my Dogs are in the animal kingdom. Human beings have animal nature or whatever. So, okay, y'all. So, sorry, I found, you found, found it. Uh, not, not that one. Okay. Not the older lady. I don't know if that was TikTok. I don't know what search words put in, but I should we should have looked it up before I should have looked it up before we get got live, but it's all good. All right. So I wanna so I'm gonna play one more of her video where I think she talked about some that I found interesting. Mm -hmm. Um and then we're gonna play the other girl. I think it was this one. I'm a side chick. Of course I don't respect your relationship if your own husband don't. I'm a side chick. Of course you can't beat me up. But if you do, I'm still fuck your husband. With a black eye. I'm a side chick. Of 
course I rode shotgun in the passenger seat of your car. I'm a side chick. Of course our husband has an extra change of clothes in the toothbrush at my house. I'm a side chick. Of course I know his full weekly schedule. And yours. I'm a side chick. Of course his closest friends know about me. And they call me sis. I'm a side chick. Of course he's not about to leave you for me. Because I don't want him to. He's a fucking sleazeball. Bitch, if he leave you, I'm leaving him. I'm a side chick. Of course we don't argue. We'll be too busy fucking and talking about the goodness of the Lord. I'm a side chick. Of course he thinks that you're nagging, but if I say the same thing, then it's a genuine concern. I'm a side chick. Of course when you kiss him, you tasted me. <laughs> I'm a side chick. Of so she said something in one of the videos, and I can't, I don't, I don't know what one it was, but basically she said. I said, oh, so it wasn't that one? Uh, that was one of them, but she said something about... Excuse me. Uh, I can't find it. It don't matter. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to pull this one in. And this... Here it is, right here. It just popped up. This is the one I seen last night. And this lady is going through it. She just made a Facebook page to put this information out here. She upset. Let's. So this video right here is her at the airport. She don't explain how she got to the airport to see that. But she at the airport. And if I click on it. You can see the girl. She got a little sly face, sly look on her face. She know she know what's up. Whatever. But this woman got cheated on. Let me see. So she got cheated on by her husband. And they've been together for some years. Years. And she wound up call he travels a lot. And uh let me I mean, so he travels a lot and he was put, like the other woman said, authorized user on the credit cards. Yeah, she been this woman been traveling to Paris. She, she like her name was all over her credit card bills. It was her credit card that she put her husband on. And she's like, I don't use the card like that. So I just leave the bills. My husband pays the bills. He takes care of it. I didn't ever think to look at the bills. She looked at her bills. Something was ringing in her head. Look at the bills. Because people don't understand about the voices and the sixth sense and all that stuff. That's, that's a talk about Tequina topic. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just um, getting situated. Because I want to say something about that. Okay, so she looks at the bills and she goes back 10 months. This woman all over the bills, all over the bills. She addresses her husband at some point and I, I could I could play it, but she addresses her husband at some point and he then tells her, you need about six months. I'm not leaving you. I'm not divorcing you, but you need about six months to think the situation through. When he said that to her, what I took is I'm and he told her, I'm not leaving her. I'm not leaving her. So you but need he's to not leave her either. He he's ain't leaving one of them. Neither one of them. She filed for divorce. I don't know what's going on with the divorce. She filed for divorce. Mm -hmm. And I apparently, when you look it up, it says something about the husband hires a hitman for the wife. I don't recall her saying anything like that in here, but apparently there's a new one that just got uploaded, so I don't know. Um, yeah. What was you going to say, baby? So, with that, and I know my baby said it earlier, and it's in our videos and stuff like that. Okay. When it's not known, yes, it's cheating. Do not equate being polyamorous 
in any type of way, shape, or form as a form of cheating. Because what my wife knows, my my other wife, girlfriend, whatever, would know the same thing. And it ain't going to be no authorized users because us together or whatever, we're if, if she ain't got it, we're going to show her how to get it. You feel me? So it ain't going to be no authorized nothing. We all going to have credit cards. We all going to have bank accounts. We all going to have the same thing across the board. But yeah, when it's not known, yeah, it's cheating. If my if I if I tell my wife, "Hey, I'm eating a salad, but I'm not eating a salad." But she think I'm eating a salad. I just cheated her out of the truth. I'm going to repeat that. I just cheated her out of the truth. All right. Why you hitting hard. So, mind you. Back shots, baby. Back shots. Okay. Uh, we don't have joint accounts. No. We used to. But we don't we don't have joint accounts. If if things need to get done, money's being moved or sent to whatever for whatever. Like if 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 I mean when we get the house, we ain't gonna have like no major bills. We gonna have our own bills. But we have no problem with getting a joint account. Yeah. We just it, not in the same facility. So, so that would be hard. We've had a shared account. That's not an issue. But what he's explaining is if I have stability and fi financial stability on my own and he has financial stability on his own, it only makes sense to make sure that the third person, the, the third, how, second, wh however you want to label it, you smart A people out there that want to make fun of Polly and it's not the second, it's, it's not the third, it's the second, and whatever. You know what I mean? We're going to make sure that she's financially stable on her own as well. Not saying, oh, we ain't taking care of you. We're not saying that at all. We're not saying that at all. But we're going to make sure that with or without us, you straight. Yes. One thing that I am, I, and, and I've seen this, even with my ex-wife or anybody that I've dealt with, dealt with if they came and dealt with me they definitely left being better than when they came to me i've i've left a whole house furnished with my hard-earned money just for she to feel like she got something or whatever and then she bad mouthed me because of it but you have everything that I, I, I worked hard for. So regardless of your bad mouth, you came up off of me. Do that make me a stupid? No. That, that, no, because y'all had kids together. That you did that. Me, that makes me a real man that made sure I did what I needed to do. For oh. your family. Exactly. I just sent my wife pictures, snapshots. <laughs> Her man got good credit. Oh, Her yeah. man got good credit. I'm still on child support. I got good credit. Oh, snap. She's dating a, a, a bus driver with good credit. Oh, my God. She's... no, Well, not dating. She She's married to... Someone else is dating you. Yeah, we... We, we gonna come around to that in another <laughs> video. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so, okay, so when I watch this lady, so if y'all don't follow Talk About It, Tina, I'm finna, I'm finna hit y'all so hard in, in the next month, I'm finna hit y'all so hard, because when I watch this lady's TikTok, it screamed insecurity. Really? Screamed insecurity have you ever thought about it i just thought about this maybe yes 
yeah, yesterday or the day before. But insecurity, insecurity, like I've never heard it like this. To me, maybe, maybe you have in YouTube land. Maybe you have heard it like this. But I thought about it. Insecurity. You're insecure because you haven't secured yourself. And it's an inner turmoil that's working in there that got you insecure. You have to be secure within. And you, a lot of women are expecting the man to put them in that secure position. But if you are not secure with inside, then how can you expect another man to make you secure and, and make you feel safe if you are not giving that to yourself first? How the fuck am I going to validate her her been standing on her 10 toes down on business before me, with me, and it will be after me if whatever happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, she can't validate me. I can tell him he look handsome as hell. I can say that, but he knows that. But if I don't feel it, if I don't know it, it ain't going to be so. He so here's briefly, and we ain't even gonna touch it because that's not what we technically not what we're talking about. So he is dealing with talking to another woman, and I didn't bother to go look her up. Not not at first. Uh, I didn't go bother to look her up. I don't. I didn't know what she looked like other than the screenshots he had sent. And I, okay, she cool, she whatever, you know. That, whatever is going on over there with her over there was not my concern. Was not my threat. Was it Nothing, because I know what's going on in here. I'm good. I'm with secure. All too, I don't know, I don't know why, but this popped into my head. If I'm dating somebody... Whatever we're going through is not going to come and harm the relationship that me and my wife got. Because if it does, then what the fuck type of man I'm, am I? If I said, hey, baby, I'm always protect you, then God damn it, I'm always protect her no matter what. Hell, I told that to her kids. I told that to my kids. Like, look here. All right, go ahead. <laughs> How you really feel, baby? Uh, so this woman went and stalked the lady's Instagram. She said, "Oh, she's prettier than me." Let's, she's let's pretty. Find out. Okay. I don't like that it doesn't do the full screen, but let's just let's just take a look. So this is the first one. How you like that? You gonna like that? In a board That's the airport. How you like that? Hey y'all. Well, it's story time in regards to that video I posted this morning of my husband and his mistress at the Atlanta airport. So let me just preface this by saying. I'm a nice person. I'm a sweet person. I'll do mm -hmm. anything for my family and my friends. And I'll help anybody out. I try to stay in my own lane. I try not to bother anyone or do any of that. But when people play in my face and plot and plan and do foul stuff, I'm not so nice anymore. And that's how most of us are. So let me start by saying on October 29th of 2022, my husband was scheduled to come home from a trip from Europe. He told me he had been over there working. And he worked on was working anyway. Um, so he was hold on. In Europe. So I um, uh, wanted to make sure that I had dinner and everything ready for him um, by the time he got home. So I called the airline. So I knew the flight number and I was driving. So I couldn't... Um, can you still hear the computer if I mute my mic? Yeah. Okay. 
you know, type it in my computer. Because usually if you just type a flight number in, it'll just pop up what time the flight's going to land. So I had to call the airline that day. And when I asked the flight attendant, or not the flight attendant, I'm sorry, but the, um, you know, the representative, um, what time that flight came in, he asked me for, he asked for my husband's name. And I was like, you don't need his name. I was like, just give me the flight information. You know, if I typed it in, it, I just need the flight information. You don't need his name. So he was adamant about me giving the name. So I gave him the name. He comes back a few minutes later and he says, Mr. Such and Such and Miss What's Her Name landed 20 minutes ago. So I'm in shock because I've been married 25, 26 years. And I'm thinking I'm just married to this outstanding, upstanding citizen. So I said, no, just his name. I don't, I don't know who that other person is, but just his name. And the guy states again, he was like, Mr. Such and Such and Miss What's Her Name just landed a few minutes ago, like 20 minutes ago. So I'm sitting in the Kroger parking lot like, like, what does this mean? I'm still kind of, I'm in a state of shock actually. So my head is spinning by this time. My blood pressure's gone up and I'm like, what does this mean? So I'm like, mm, okay. So right after that, my husband calls and I was trying to hold it in and trying to hold what I was feeling in. So I was like, I'm not gonna say anything right now. I'm going to wait till he gets to the house because he was like, oh, I missed you. It's been a long, long week. It's the hardest money I ever earned, but I wish you could have gone with me. And I was like, okay, well, you know, you can tell me about your trip when you get home. So, okay, stand by y'all for the rest. So, okay, y'all. So when he comes home, I greet him at the door, you know, give him a hug and a kiss and ask him about his trip while he's unpacking. And um, so I'm like, show me some pictures from your trip. And he was like, oh, I didn't take any pictures. You know, I was running around working and we were just so busy and on the go. We were just, you know, just going to and fro. So I was like, oh, okay. So we go to have dinner. I was like, hey, I called the airlines um, to see what time your flight was getting in. And I said, they told me there was someone else on your itinerary. And I tell him the person's name. And he was like, who is that? And I was like, I don't know. You tell me. He was like, oh, I don't know who that is. And he was like, mm -mm. he said, it must've made a mistake. So I was like, well, okay. Like, so I went along with it, but something about it, my spirit just was not feeling right. So I was like, something about this the spirit is just not right. That ain't Christian. So that night when we nope. go to bed, he's sleeping over there just a snoring. I'm over there tossing and turning. Cause I was like, something about this just does not feel right. Mm -hmm. So something tells me in the morning when you get up, go check your credit card bills. That are Something on the told her. So the credit card bills are all stacked up out on our kitchen counter and I don't open them because I don't pay the bill. I mean, it's American Express bill each month. They be high. So I was like, I ain't got nothing on it. So no need for me to open them. But I <laughs> that was my account and I added him to it years ago and I just let him open it, you know, open the bill um, and pay it. And there was sometimes I would open it, but most times I would just look at my portion of it and just keep it moving. So that morning when I get up, I go to church and he tells me that he had to um, leave because he had to catch up on work and all that kind of stuff later on in the day. So I was like, okay, so I go to church and, and when I come back from church, I get ready to go to the Falcon game. But something was like, check one of those credit card bills before you go. When I open up that bill, the woman that the airline employee mentioned that was on his itinerary, her name was up and down my credit card bill. Flights here, flights there, flights to Paris, Delta vacations, um, you know, a country here, an island there, something. And this was in one month. So I'm sitting there like, what in the world? So by this time, y'all, I'm steaming. And I got to go to this Falcon game with my girlfriends and try to act like I'm having a good time. But the whole time, my mind is racing. So I was like, okay. So I come home that night. I stack up all those bills. I got bills for like eight months worth of bills. Actually, that was October, so 10 months. I pulled from December of 21 to October of 22. And when I tell you, it was very telling. This woman's name was on every one of my bills for each of those months, several times. So while I thought he was out working and telling me that I couldn't travel with him because you know he didn't want to get distracted. Oh, he had a travel mate, all right. He had one. Stand by for part three. So I go through all these credit card bills, finds this girl's name for months on my credit card bills for the last 10 months specifically. 
Um, so at that time I reached out, I tried to call his phone, call my husband's phone and text him. No answer, no text back. So I called his boy's house because he told me he was going to his boy's house to watch um, football. No answer from him. So I texted him and was like, hey, um, is he with you? No answer back. Then all of a sudden, here come my phone ringing. It's my husband. Like, oh, I ran out to get something to eat. Like, what's up? And I was like, oh, you know what's up? I said, and I started repeating the girl's name. And he was like, why do you keep saying that name? And I was like, I kept saying the name. So he was like, well, I don't understand why you keep calling that name. And I was like, oh, yeah. I said, your gig is up. I was like, you nasty motherfucker. I was like, your gig is up. So he she was like, I don't know what's going on. I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. I was like, <laughs> bring your ass on home. I was like, come home. Because by this time, I'm furious. So I hang up the phone. I'm just like, live it, y'all. I promise you. I think my blood pressure was on like a thousand that day. So he comes in and he come in like all Billy bad. Like, why you keep mentioning that name? And I was like, you tell me why I keep mentioning that name. So I was like, I'm going to ask you this. I said, I'm going to ask you one time. I said, no, I know the truth. I was like, was such and such on this flight with you? He was like, no, I don't know why you keep mentioning that name. I don't know who that is. I said, I'm gonna ask you one more motherfucking time and know that I know the truth. Don't lie to me. And it was like this mask fell off of him. And he sat down in his chair and he was like, yeah, she was with me. That's too much. I was like, okay. I said, so that's your girlfriend? He was like, yeah. I said, well, how long you been with her? He said, a couple of years. And I was like, okay. So by this time, I can't hold it together. I mean, I think I, all I remember doing, I remember crying and I had a really, really bad headache. And all he said to me was, and this was what he, what he says was really kind of like cut me. He was like, like he was relieved. He was like, at least I ain't got to lie no more. I'm sorry I hurt you, but at least I don't have to lie anymore. So by this time, I'm like, say what now? So I'm screaming. I'm yelling. My son's upstairs. He comes down, goes back up because I was like, everything's fine. Everything's fine. But my head is like hurting like really, really bad, guys. So I come back to my my, my bathroom to try to get some, some medicine. So I was like, let me take my blood pressure. Blood pressure was like one, like 190 over 110 or some crazy shit like that. So I was like, let me, I, I got to get to a hospital. I got to get to a hospital. So stand by. It gets more interesting. Y'all, when he hit me with Wait, the- Hold on. She got him out of order. There we go. So by this time, my head is banging. And I know I need to go to the hospital. I know something is wrong. Mm -hmm. So of course, I'm crying. I'm hysterical, trying to put my clothes on. He's trying to- touch me and pet me up like, oh, oh, I'm just so sorry that I made you feel this way. Now, didn't really have any compassion in his voice, any of that kind of stuff. So I was like, don't touch me. So I drive myself to the airport. He was like, I'll drive you. I was like, mm-mm. I said, I'll take my chances. I drive myself to the airport. I get there. Blood pressure is off the charts to the point they're like, ma'am, you're about to have a stroke. You got to calm down. And I really couldn't even talk. So they were like, we, you got to calm down. So they call my doctor. We get the medicine. They try to get it under control. So I'm there for a couple of hours. So I come home and he's sitting on the couch eating Cheetos. Like, ain't shit happened, right? Then comes in like, oh, what they say? And I was like. You went said, to the airport for some got, medication? Got pressure, you know, <coughs> kind of down. The hospital. All the way down is I like, go see a doctor in the morning. So that night I could not sleep. I cried all night long to the point when I got up that morning, I really couldn't even see my eyes were so swollen. So I'm, I'm tore up. Right. So I go out later that morning. He's, he's uh, upstairs. I come upstairs cause I slept in another bedroom. He's around here. Like, you know, like, doo -doo -doo. like, you know, he having a good day and shit. Like, you know, his, his, his burdens is light. Mine had him, but his is light. So, um, I come up and then he's out in our family room and I was like, look, I said, I don't know. And I'm still in a state of confusion. So I was like, I don't know what happened. The state last of night. confusion. And I was like, I don't know what I've done wrong. Cause by this time I'm blaming myself. I was like, you know, I know I'm getting older, you know, but I try to keep myself up. You know, I try to look, you know, look nice, you know, do whatever I can as a wife. I was like, you know, I've tried my best. So I don't even know what I could have done or what I can do. So I'm taking the blame. And he was like, oh, it's it's not you. Like, it's not you. So um, 
but I'm like, no, like it's got to be me. He was like, not, like no, you. He's like, you're a good wife. You know, you've been a really good wife. So I was like, well, I'll tell you what. I was like, I, I'm confused here. I say, so what we need to do? I was like, I think you need to sell the house. Let's move away. Try to start over. You go to counseling. I go to counseling. We do some counseling, and we, you know, we start over. So he was kind of like real smug with it. Like, well, if that's that's what you want, like, yeah, we can do that. So I was like, well, what about her? Are you going to stop seeing her? So he paused for like 20 seconds and kind of tilted his head to the side. He was like, I ain't gonna tell you I'm gonna stop seeing her. And I was like, then you want a divorce? He was like, oh, I don't want a divorce. He was like, I ain't gonna let nobody fuck up my money. And I was blown away. Y'all, when he hit me with the, I don't want a divorce, but I'm going to keep seeing her because I ain't going to let nobody fuck up my money. Let me tell you something. That was definitely the wrong answer and told me everything I needed to know about him, about the marriage, and what I needed to do next. So for the next couple of days, I, you know, I'm still in a state of confusion. And I remember going to, once I found the girl's name, I went to Instagram, good old Instagram, you know, you go, go look there, you find anything. So I look up her name, I see her and I'm really like feeling down. I'm like, oh go look God. up Jupiter's like, love on beautiful. Instagram. You know, he wants him someone younger, like I ain't all that. Da, da, da. So I'm just tearing my ass up. So, you know, my girls called later that day, my best friend called that morning and he was checking in on me and I was trying to hide it from her, but I couldn't. So I'm like in a ball of tears, tell her what's happened. She's in a state of shock. And usually she always got something to say, but she was left speechless. So she calls my other girlfriend. Um, she calls, we all in a state of shock. Everybody's tore to pieces. So that day um, after, you know, I tell them what, what happened and everything, everybody, we just call it, we all were shocked. So the next day I go and meet with them because I see this girl um, on Instagram and I'm telling them about it. So they asked me to come out to lunch, have lunch with them, my two girlfriends. So, cause they needed to tell me something. So, and I bring it up. I was like, well, I see her pictures on Instagram. And I was like, she's pretty. And they were like, girl, she ain't all that damn pretty. Like that's filters and plastic surgeon, a whole bunch of other shit. Like girl, it ain't even all that. And they were like, in Canada, it's like, we ain't trying to offend you. Y'all actually kind of favor each other. Like she may be the younger version of you. So I'm thinking like, I don't look like her. Like that girl's, you know, pretty, like it's just, I don't look like that. So in the interim, I was like, well, at least I said, they don't have any pictures of themselves up on her Instagram. So they were, my girlfriends was like, that's why we, we needed to meet with you. Cause they were like, there is a picture out there. So by this time, y'all, I'm devastated. So our food tries to come, we have Papa Do's, food comes. I'm so distraught from tears and looking a hot mess. Um, couldn't really even eat. And we went into how bad off I was. You know you bad off when you can't do this. We need to pray over our food. I couldn't even put my hands together to pray. I have never had that to happen. I couldn't even pray. I literally put my head down on the table while they were saying a prayer and cried. And basically they made me try to eat because I, I really could not eat anything. So it, it, was just a, cap. it was just a complete mess. So when I get home, my husband, he was actually gone. I think he was gone, but you know, he claimed he had a trip or something. And then he tells me when he did come home, like, well, I need to talk to you because I think we need a little break. So he was like, you need a break so you can think about some things. And I was like, huh? Like, I need to think about some things. He was like, yeah, you need a break so you can think about some things. TV, like I mean, the, the computer keep, needed a break. She keep messing with the head and fixing the head. Y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, to add insult to injury, he tells me he needs to go away for three to six months for me to think about some things and to think some things over. And I was like, I need to think some things over. I was like, I don't need to think about anything. He was like, yeah, I need to go away so you can think about some things. So I'm like, okay. And this is a straw that broke the camel's back when he said this. And I knew that this man actually had no love for me and that he had been planning and planning for a long time. How do you equate like, that to be no love? Yeah, okay. find somebody in that three Hold to on, six baby. We're going to talk about time it. Frame, I'll understand. Now, who tell their spouse that? If they really love you, they don't want you all sleeping with nobody else. Not if everything, everybody normal, ain't nobody sick or doing anything like that. 
So I knew then I was like, I don't have but one other option. Divorce is the only option for me. And I tell you, I prayed about it, asked God about it. And when I tell you, he was sending me signs. If you listen, he will send you signs. And he sent me sign after sign after sign, y'all. So I did, I filed for divorce and each day I've gotten stronger. And I think my husband thought that, I don't know what he thought about me or what kind of person I was, but he, cause he knew how I felt about infidelity. And I always used to tell, used to tell him, you know, hey, if you, if something ever happens, tell me on the front end, cause I'm gonna hurt one way or the other on the front end, on the back end, just let me know, but don't play me for no fool. So he, I guess he thought he got boo boo the fool over here. So I was like, okay. And, and from this girl that um, you saw in the, in the video, yeah, she knew about me. He would have her at restaurants, hotels, games, um, had other women serving me my drinks. They'd feet under my table speaking to me. And he's sleeping with all these women. That is humiliating, y'all. So you know what? I was like, if you give me shit to taste, I'm going to let you taste it back. So to the airport video. Yeah, I was shocked. I was dismayed because that was my first time seeing them. I knew it eventually that I would see them out somewhere. It's Atlanta and hey, it's a small town. So it's a big town, but it's a small town too. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try my best to be classy and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes that just don't work. Cause when you go in a gutter, when people go gutter with you and I have to apologize to Michelle Obama, girl, when you said that, when they go low, we go high. That ain't my motto, because when they go low, I go lower, I go gutter. I'm going gutter. I'm going to swim down with the rats with your ass. So I was like, okay, yeah. So she knew, and she was on Instagram sending all her little subliminal messages and all of that. I'm like, yeah, okay, I got you, girl. But y'all, when all this is over, I got a little story to tell about her and the rest of his story, too. Our story. It's actually our story. This is my story to tell. So I'll share more with you all, but let me tell you something. It's a cautionary tale. You all want to move on? Just say you want to move on, y'all. Because if you fuck around, you definitely going to find out. And just like him, my husband got the one and the two. Be good. Y'all hear from me later. Bye. What are your thoughts, baby? Like you got an industrial size computer over there or something? That's the sound of the the gate. Oh. It scared the hell out of me. I know it ain't nobody but Junior, I'm assuming. Um my thoughts when she said, Oh, I try to keep myself up yes. in the net and she said that her husband was like, no, you a good woman. Like, yeah, that's that uh, am I enough syndrome or whatever. And it's like, you are enough. You was you. That's all he wanted you to be. He just wanted to be open and honest. No, well, I don't think he did. I don't think well, he did. No, he, he didn't. He didn't at first. But I say open and honest because he said now that he let that out, he feels better. Yeah, because he ain't got to lie. But constantly lying. But he didn't have to lie. To, he, to do that. That. he should. He should. And you know what? I wonder because he said he was with her for some years. I wonder if he tried to talk to her about it beforehand. I think and she, she was in juniors here. And, and um, go answer the door. Yeah, go ahead. So I wonder if if back then or whatever, when did he try to talk to her about it? Like, look here. Like maybe maybe it was a small fight and he was like, maybe we should like open up our marriage and this and that or or whatever and by her being sanctified i'm just saying sanctified or whatever because most people that go to church they say they sanctified filled with the holy ghost all that good stuff and that that that's confusion all is on its own too because a lot of the people in the bible had multiple wives 
and it was okay. Um, but I wonder if he tried to talk to her and she shut him down. Hell, possibly made him feel bad about it, where he went underground, incognito, and stuff like that, and did it like that. That that that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm wondering. And um, yeah, what else stood out about it? Um, I don't know. I I I think that was the real thing was how she felt about herself that that touched me the most because I would want my woman or women, hell, even my daughters, to feel good within themselves that they don't need nobody else to validate them. But if the people or who they with validate, give them validation, that's just extra validation put on top of their validation. My woman don't make me. My wife don't make, don't make me. I make me. Now, when she says that I look good, I look handsome, I smell good or whatever, that's just Add it, add it. That that when you feel good and somebody add to it, you know for sure you out of this world type. And and that's what I like. I like the just like how some of you women might feel like y'all want a man with confidence. I got confidence. I got self confidence. But when my wife add to that self-confidence you can't tell me nothing nothing i'll tell you what i want to tell you mm -hmm. tell me to back that thing up mm -hmm. um side note baby yeah so i think it's time but you got a card business card oh i can't put the address on it you got business card I don't know if you could see the 130,000. American Express? Yes, sir. I shouldn't be Is that the company? Yeah. That's the company card? It got the company name on it? Not no. the new one. But I no. think we can call and get them to update the information. Yeah. Yes. So... Side note, but anyways, continue with. Uh, oh, and then talking about money, like if if, and he gave her an ultimatum. She was like, "Oh, so I know how you feel about this marriage or whatever." All because he said, "No, he ain't gonna fuck up his money." So because he ain't gonna mess up his money, you gonna go ahead and mess it up. That's how I see it. That's how I well, see it. there's that. In in her defense on that, he like, look, I work hard for all this. I'm sleeping around on you behind your back for the last however long. Basically, I took it as I made you. This, this life you have is because of me. Because she don't talk about her end of things. So I don't, I don't know. Oh, hell, she, all, she, she said it. The bill be high. American Express bill be high, so she ain't she ain't got that money. She ain't gonna pay. Well, she, she pay said that money. she didn't buy anything. Like it wasn't her purchases, and when she did, you know, have purchases, she took her portion of the bill. So you know, in the bills, it's it's separated by credit card number. So she took her portion and didn't even look at his portion. Oh, so the way that I took it is. He like, look, if I divorce you, you take in all this money. She didn't state how long they had been married, but it sounded like some ser some years. Mm -hmm. And he he older. He older. But that's, but that's the thing, too, that women probably don't understand either. Or not women. Sorry, sorry. Let me say this. Let me backtrack. I, I'm not saying women. Where was I going with this? I say he's older. Oh, the fact that 
she because how she said it was like how she was going to go gutter going below and this is all around the money or whatever you can take the money that half the money do whatever but the thing is let's say for instance he if and and this is the rule in business and if you're an entrepreneur you know if you can make a hundred dollars and then you can make a hundred thousand dollars and then you can make a million dollars in this case she could take whatever because he know that he can make that money back she don't know what he knows all yeah. he knows is that she's hurt and she's gonna take whatever oh you care about money so i'ma hit it hit you where it hurt my mm -hmm. ex my kid's mom she thought it, she was gonna hit me where it hurt financially no yes you made she made some some obstacles but she didn't hurt me but what hurt me was her not allowing me to see talk feel kiss my kids that was the most dreadful part but did she stop money no go ahead baby um so i just at the end of the day like even with the other girl so the side chick the first side chick the proud side chick she has her scenario of how she operate then you got this woman that's on the flip side of that of she's the one being cheated on and lied to and the thing is there's us right in the middle where there's no lying there's no secrets there's no insecurities there's no emotion any emotional un instabilities there's no like he's talked to women i haven't i don't know i just i get it i get it on the side chick side i get it on the polygamy side the that i wouldn't say that used to be me because that wasn't because you never lied per se but it uh, wasn't even even it, it but you were there with dealing with other people so you oh absolutely sides. oh absolutely so no, that's why i said yeah so especially now this is what i will say that man the woman that was just up and you know he with this younger girl and he's doing whatever wine and diner or whatever and she said at times where you know they had women around and they playing footsies under the table and you know he had women taking the orders and that's women that he was cheating with and that's embarrassing to her to find out that he was doing all this cheating. But let me let me say this because I know you want to say was something. that true or was that just her insecurity saying that? No, she oh. said there's more to tell, but she's in the middle of divorce right now, so she can't say much. Oh. So I, she probably found out. That there's multiple other women. Now here's Maybe the thing. He's a swinger, but she hold on, wasn't hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here's the thing: if a man is willing to cheat and lie and be deceiving, just because he got with a younger woman does not mean that all of a sudden he's going to be faithful, loyal, and live as happily ever after. As my king just said, I've been cheated on. I've dealt with the same things before. So here's the thing that I will say. If you're dealing with a man who cannot be honest and open, direct and, and transparent, then he'll never be that way. He'll never be that way. Prime example, two of my exes that I know specifically, when I got cheated on or when they cheated on their girl with me and then was dealing with me and then went back to the girl or whatever, them stripes didn't change. My kid's dad to this day went, went with a younger girl. She, there's a 10, 10 year difference from them, from, from him and I, there's a six year difference. So he went with a younger girl and I'm like, oh, she's younger. She was pretty at the time. I'm like, she's pretty. So that was me, right? I'm looking, looking at her. She pretty, whatever. She can sing. She could sing. Uh, you know, she she seemed like she had it together. 
He's still cheating on her to this day. Cheat. To this day. To this day. No. <laughs> One, I mean, basically had her put in a hot. Let me, it's a whole story, and I don't want to say too much on it. But she was out in the streets real bad, on drugs real bad. You know, she was doing, and he was off doing his thing with some normal female younger than her. Mind you, there's 10 years between those two. And he went younger. He went down to our daughter's age. Hell, he went younger than our son's age. So, them stripes don't change. That man ain't going to do no different to that new girl that he did with you. Because that's just who he is. He can't be honest. He can't be open. He can't be... So we in groups, poly groups, right? We we learning from the groups. And so there's questions that were pr proposed is if you start dating, do you tell people right away that you're poly or do you start dating them and then wind it in, you know, kind of throw it in the middle or do you kind of build a relationship with them? Now you locked in a relationship and then tell them, hey, by the way, this is my lifestyle. And everyone was answering differently. And I asked my king, like, how you know, you got people outside of the group, the the, the woman that he's talking to now. Are you going to tell her right away when y'all go on this date? You going to wait maybe a couple dates to see if it's something then tell her? It came up in the oh, first. Oh, 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 oh. Can y'all, is this mic on? He told her right away. And I still got a second date out of it. <laughs> Hell, a potential third date. Even though <laughs> even though she ain't interested in his particular choice of polying, she has her own style of polying. Yeah, she if if she was poly, she's solo. And and that ain't what I'm that's not what I'm looking for. No. We're doing, we doing the close V over here. Yeah. Do your education. Look it up. Like I did. So, yeah. But um, we'll get so, into it in another video. Yeah. So, all I'm saying is that man is, is not... That man is in a whole different category of the men that's going to cheat and lie. When he said, oh, at least now I ain't got to... I ain't got to hide it no more. That wasn't him being open and whatever else. You're right. You're right. That was just that was him being, having relief or whatever. But yeah. like I said, when you was gone, I wonder if he tried to talk to her before and got shut down. Religious beliefs and all that stuff. And, you know, a man is not supposed to do that. You know, how, how, Women, stop so, thinking you know what a man is supposed to do because we don't know what y'all supposed to do, but we know what we want from y'all, just like y'all know what we y'all want from us. But don't tell a man, well, you should be like this. You should be, well, you go find a man like that. So I'm going to say that I don't think he tried. I'm, I don't think so. And the reason why is when she asked, when she started saying, what is it about me? What is it? I'm not enough. You know, and he, his response was, no, you're a good wife. That was him lying. Cause if she was that great, then why is the other one around? And, and don't get me wrong. Cause I know I'm great. I'm good over here. And just because he is choosing to have a second wife, that's not because I'm failing in any department. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, why? Because I know how I, what I do. I know what my table that I bring to his table. I know how our tables are getting down. Yeah, I know y'all going to give me some slack for that. And then for some years, there got to be, there got to have been a time where he hit her raw dog or whatever. And then went to his wife and of course hit her raw dog or whatever. At least, at least he's being, at least she didn't catch nothing. Okay, so 
maybe, but the other girl might be like, no, you you got a wife, you cheating, she might be cheating on you, you know, or I'm, we don't know, we just speculate. We, we speculating, so I'm a speculate and say he probably got the girl in the first place. She's younger, number one, so she's probably doing some things that his Christian wife ain't trying to do. Mm. And he's too ashamed to tell his wife that she's doing those things. Oh, like I, I know a dude that that he deals with, or I don't know. I know of a guy that he deals with a woman because he found out that he liked to to bang in the Duke shoot or whatever. And his wife wasn't having it. I can I and I'm I'm prejudging based on the way that woman is and Christian and God and all of that that she was speaking. Yeah, she's not getting down and dirty with her husband. And no offense, but he looked like he taking Viagra, so Hey, who knows? I didn't I didn't really see him that good. He's older. But yeah, but is there anything else that we need to talk about? Like for the first one, like she uh, did the, the first one, which is uh, the the, the side chick Kelly. Yeah, I don't remember. You want me to pull it up? Yeah. So that was Gail Lewis that we just watched, Miss Gail Lewis mm -hmm. from the eight hundred two. Uh, the other one was uh, Kelly the Kelly Kale show. Yeah, the Kelly Kale show. So she's actually advocating for men. She said getting... her her in her TikTok say promote common sense. And, and, and she's advocating for men. So like she was trying, and because I used to follow her back in the day, early on TikTok, I guess, or whatever. Um, and this was around the time when Kevin Samuel was still alive and stuff like that. She was advocating for men to trying to help women out to get to know their men. So, you know, and women still didn't listen to her, but now they're coming at her saying that, you know, just really really throwing shade darts boulders because she's speaking on a side chick position she's speaking on so the way that she said some of the stuff i feel like there's a lot of humor in it like let's keep it real shit there's there's a lot of humor in it um but at the end of the day the way that i take it you don't want your man cheating, then you might want to sit down and have a conversation with him and figure out why he's cheating. Prepare a table for him to lay out what's on his mind, what's on his heart, or whatever have you. A, a safety place? Do you, you want him to make it safe for you, or are you making it safe for him? Touche. Touche. Touche, don't play. Can we... Can we end the video with um, just a random video for from the Kelly Kale show? Yes, random video. Let's just scroll, scroll, scroll. It's loading, loading, loading. Do, do you want to put it up on the screen? Yeah, I... Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll put it on the screen and you could pick. Uh, um... Keep going. Let's go downtown. Keep going. Uh, let's go right there. Go up a little bit. Fifth one in. This one? Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to take this motherfucking detox. TikTok made me do it. So if I fucking die, I'm suing Ying Hong motherfucking well, ass. One, now let's wait. Let's what this shit say. All right. It says one day detox powerhouse sub powerhouse herbal sub.
All right, I didn't know she was doing the a, a shit talk. Um, let yeah, go on here with that pink one that was jump. Uh, Which one? Just this one. one. Who's Let's that? that? Good morning, King. It's Jazz. I woke up thinking about you. She's like, how can a person be so fucking amazing like that, bruh? And I'm gonna tell you before anybody else tell you, I appreciate you for today for tomorrow, for yesterday, and any other day you get up and you decide not to give up. Your level of abundance is exceedingly stupendous, man. Look at you. It's the third day in this month, and you at it again. You ain't gave up. I love that about you. I love that about you. You got to drive like none other. I don't even fuck what nobody tell you. Listen, you doing fucking amazing. So this morning, I want to tell you, you are powerful. You are loved, you are needed, you are abundant, you are successful, you are wanted, you are desired, you are hope, you are love, you are love. I love you, I love you, I love you. Have a wonderful day, King. Good morning, King. Good morning, King. Look at that. Look at that. Think about that. Look at it, think about it. She's advocating for black men, for men in general. And if she is a stripper, then we go there and then let's say for instance, um have a have a a, a lap dance or whatever. Do y'all know that they get they have conversations while they're doing lap dances? She's so for y'all women. Even though she's advocating for men, she's rooting for y'all women to 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 get it together. Y'all want y'all want us men. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. Hold on. There's a couple I want to click on, and then we can end it for real. Okay, um, because I'm I'm curious what she wants to say in these. Somebody gotta say it, and I be the bitch to say it. Fellas, y'all know how us ladies say we want a loyal nigga? We lied. We want a nigga we can control, baby. So check this out. This is the reason why females feel like men can't be loyal. Because real loyalty starts with oneself. You can only be loyal to yourself. Everything outside of you, that loyalty will be subjective based off of what they feel constitutes as loyalty to them. So when you don't do what the fuck we want you to do, guess what? You're not fucking loyal. To them booty head ass bitches, not me. I know the difference, but that's why we say, oh, men can't be loyal because it's not that you can't be loyal to us. Because you are. You can't be loyal to yourself because that's where loyalty starts. So anytime you get in a relationship, you're adhering to what this woman wants. You sit out all your needs and desires and you literally stop working on yourself to be loyal to somebody else. But then when you take a seat back and look at your life and the reflection of who you are, you realize you weren't loyal at all. Not to yourself, but don't shoot the messenger. Love you. Somebody got to say it. And I- okay. As I thought. Good. As I thought. Okay. So y'all booty here bitches be wanting niggas to make the impossible possible in an impossibly possible situation, bitch. No, it don't work like that, you booty head ass bitch. You better make it easy on us. A submissive woman unknowingly controls a man. If you wanted to know, you booty head ass bitch. If you want to know, I'm a fucking tell you. That nigga do whatever the fuck you want him to do, bitch. If you make it easy on him, I don't even want to be controlled. You booty head ass bitch. Ask him what he wants. Ask him what he like. Ask him what he needs, bitch. Ask him what he desires, bitch. And once you start fulfilling that shit, you gonna get everything you want. You booty head ass bitch. But no, you know what it is in the kitty cat. You call me and pick me, but bitch, I'm gonna show you how to get picked. You booty head ass bitch. If you make it easy on him. He'll make it easy on you. If you make it hard on him, then cheating becomes easy to motherfucking do, you booty head ass bitch. But don't shoot the messenger. So y'all booty head bitches be wrong. Niggas the I, I, I see no lie in there. I see no lie. My baby makes loving her easy as hell. And I, I love her more and more for that. Like, Y'all just don't know. She makes it easy for me to love her because of her mind, her her essence, and just 
again, what she said, a submissive woman unknowingly gets everything she wants. You booty. <laughs> that is her saying. Booty head. Look, baby, I'm going to sit over here and put the oil on my eyes because clearly I can see something no one else is seeing. And that goes with just healing yourself. Y'all, y'all, if it, women take time, self care, self love, read some self help books. Follow Talk About a Tina on YouTube and Instagram. Dropping master classes coming soon. To get more insight. Like, ain't nothing more. Okay, case in point, have y'all ever heard of these big, I mean, big women getting mad love and then they walking around just, y'all y'all might find it funny and, oh, why is she wearing that and stuff like that because she's confident. Do y'all know men love that? Men love that shit. I told. Be confident. I, Show confidence. You I told uh, one of my friends, I almost said her name. I, I told one of my friends to say, he buy a lot of my clothes and you will be shocked at some of the outfits. But I'll wear them proudly. And he knows it. And he is okay with it because he bought it. He want me to feel good in my skin. Mm-hmm. I won't. I won't. Every time she get dressed up, I won't her to bring her out. If the you her. Don't know who her is, take away, baby. Tell them who her is. Her is when you get all dialed up, feeling good from the head to the toe, the rooter to the tutor, okay? Her is her. Like, you know, her is talking with her hands, doing this, flipping her hair. Her is her, okay? You can't tell her nothing, her. She look good. You, you I can be her. her. So, mind you, her is eternal, though. Mm-hmm. Her is eternal. Let's start there. Her is eternal. Her is always activated, at least in me. She mellow sometimes. She'll be mellow sometimes. And her is secure. So secure. I'm not no skinny mini. And I feel good in everything I wear. Unless it's too tight. That's a different story. If it's too tight, like, make me feel like a little 12-year-old is wearing a little t-shirt or something. You know, that's different. But, but no, I, mm, confidence on fleek. I posted a picture and said that the other day. Confidence like, is like, on fleek. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all how, how my baby is shaped. She can wear an extra large shirt, Right? But that, but that booty is a fifty-four incher. I think it's bigger, though. Honestly, I gotta. Well, it, it, when the last time she measured it, it was at fifty-four inches. I gotta find so, the measure. I'm positive it's bigger. So, so her middle part is banging, but that gives you an idea of what. Yeah, my waist, is. my waist is small-ish. Yeah, it goes in, but she she has a lot of she got a lot of waistband use uh wasted. Like it, it, it's a bunch of like when you when you pull your pants up or whatever. And for the women, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you pull your pants up and you can't get it over your um your your backside. So you got to go over you got to go to a bigger size to get it over your bunt. But and now your waist is in, so now it's like you got a lot of wasted waistband around you because you had to go bigger just to get it over your butt. So that's what like, I mean. Yeah. Yes. Like ain't no. So the what's the name Delicious had some pants that Delicious. were made. Yes. Yeah. Those. They was, uh, they was uh spandex and um jean material mixed together. 
Now that's the one I need something like that. I need a line that is made for natural women. I mean, some people get their work done, whatever, but you know, my top is smaller than the bottom. And when you go to buy clothes, you got to buy one size that fits all. Like my sister's like, no, you're going to have to switch some shirts around, (laughs) grab you an extra large with, with that three X bottom. Yeah, my my baby got got backside like Cherokee Diaz, like Pinky, like I don't know Pinky. how. Like, I think your energy literally made my ass bigger. I'm not even kidding, cause ain't no way. Hey, baby, I like them back shots. I I like that. That could probably be on our uh <laughs> our uh Patreon, cause there's a way, fellas, that. That you can make the booty bigger, cause I I started to do it with uh Angie, not Angie, Angela, Angelina, Angelina, yeah, Angelina. I'm like, who? You only dealt with one A. Yeah, I so I I started yeah. to, so it started with her, and I I saw the results. I saw the results, fellas. You can help her. I'm telling you. Just take my class for twenty twenty ninety nine a month. Twenty ninety nine a month. Um. So yeah. So we gonna wrap this up because we had an hour and a half. Um. Side chicks. I'm. I support it. I really do. I get her mindset of saying she'll never settle down with a man that's willing to cheat because they all gonna cheat. If you cheat once and you're not trying to change and be honest with your wife, you're going to continue to cheat. So when she said, oh, if he leave you, I'm leaving him. I understand that. But see, that's the thing. Boys cheat, men don't. And Carl and, and wilding out Carl, uh, Carlos Miller, he, he said, y'all got to get that. And this is for both genders. Y'all got to get that in y'all head. A grown man. I'm I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. But do I have desires? Yes. Do I want to experience my desires? Yes. In comes Polly. Mm-hmm. Income. Incoming. Think think about it. Like how many how many of y'all if women, how many of your men that's in a monogamous monogamous relationship want a threesome? How many? How many have had a threesome? Okay. I want a threesome, but I know my queen isn't she she don't she don't flow that way. Okay. I can live without one, even though it's a desire. But if but if there was ever a chance of me having one, guess what? My baby would know about it and she will be okay with it. Why? Because it's just a moment in time. Hell, I want that as facts. Just, just a two minute moment in time. You know, stop lying to these. He lying. He, he a liar. Y'all want to know if he a liar? That's what he lying about. And I, I've been lying about that ever since we've ever, met. ever since we met. You three minutes. Oh, we'll work on it. Yeah. All right. You downplay your sex. You downplay your sex. And that's how you know if, well, for me, that's a small piece of how you would know a woman is worth it. If you downplay your sex and she's still willing to deal with you, you got yourself a winner. But all right. Sorry. I was... We're going to catch y'all on the next one. We will. So y'all can be mad at the side chicks. I understand it. I support it because you got the monogamous women who are upset that their man is cheating and not willing to even meet their man at the table to discuss what needs to be changed or whatever. What are your needs? What are your wants? Like she said in the last videos, then you have the women that our proud side chicks, because they're like, look, he gonna do it. 
he gonna do it, whether it's me or anyone else, he's gonna do it because he's not willing to be honest, open, transparent, and direct with you. So he rather go and let you live in La La Land, um, and think that your marriage is absolutely perfect and whatever else, while he's doing whatever on the side. Now we not condoning. I'm not cheating. listen. We're not condoning cheating, but we're trying to get you to understand why. Why? Like how to fix it. Ask your man what he wants, what Open, he needs. Honest, transparent, direct. A D. Go look at our go look at the video. We did a video. Open, honest, transparent with a side of D. That's hot D. Hot. Honest, open, transparent. Go look at it for real. Like, D. I might link D it on more direct. Video. Go yeah. see the video, understand the video, learn from the video, then apply the video. If you make, and more than enough people have said, make a place for a safe place for your man to come and open up to you. Y'all judging everybody else. Y'all judging these women for being with side chicks. Someone need to judge you for not being communicating with your husband. How about that? Let's turn the table real quick. Let's judge you for not willing to, you want to, I'm filing for divorce. And I was there. I did the same thing. I was in the same boat. I wasn't trying to communicate. I didn't communicate. I didn't understand. I didn't do none of that. But you would never think that that was us. It was. But go see that video too. Right. So, um, yeah, no, I we're not promoting it, but we, I understand it. And I understand that's why we in the poly over here. We proud poly. Okay? Proud. Because guess what? I don't have to deal with the lying, the cheating, the manipulation, the, the late nights and whatever else. This man's never going to cheat. He's going to tell me the truth. She has my social security number. He Hell, I got his not, look. Not even the social security number. I have his business social security number. That oh yeah yeah that too yeah. This worse technically. Yeah, because this, this is a lot of money. Yeah, she and I know how to make moves. I have not, but he trusts he, me too. She has my child support information. Uh, I have everything. Um, but that's people probably like, oh, that's why he stayed with her. No, that's she, why in the poly. Yeah, no. That that that's because she made a place for me to open up to to allow her in to that to that magnitude. Now that okay, remember this. We gonna save this clip that that last. I'm clipping this half minute or whatever because I want to talk about this in the next video, in another video, not the next one, but in another video. All right, so we should go ahead and close out because it's getting to be almost two hours. Okay, okay. All right, guys, I'm your goddess, your proud poly my empress, queen. my empress, Ooh. proud poly queen PPQ instead of the PPO PPQ. I like that. Um, I'm your girl talking about Tina. That is my lovely, lovely king. King ink a ling. Uh King Dangalink. King Dangalink. King King. Life of Iconic. Yeah, he life of iconic. iconic. We still gotta change it. <laughs> you gotta change it. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna change it so maybe send me it. a send me a link and I'll change You just it. change it when you log in, baby. Log in to what? When you click the oh, link in the beginning. Yeah. The beginning. Got you. Well, that's yeah. why I'm just send me another link. I'll do oh, this. okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm iconic, yeah. and that's my lovely queen, goddess, empress. Yes. Yeah, so we out. We hope you enjoy the video. I'm sure we're gonna get backlash. I'm ready for and, it. And and if you didn't enjoy the video and you disagree, then that's a you problem. Not a us problem, a you problem. Find what's fucked up in you before you find what's fucked up in us. 
Don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. Booty head. No. <laughs> we, we out. out.